Gang, just want to remind you that the Are You Garbage Comedy Special is on our YouTube page right now. Yeah, it is. It is our favorite moments from last year's tour. And speaking of tours, we're here to announce 2022, the middle class famous tour, baby. New cities, new trash, new money. Yeah, gang, we're coming to Hartford, Albany, Syracuse, Atlanta, Tampa, Orlando, Pittsburgh, Buffalo, Detroit, Denver, <laughs> Phoenix, Salt Lake City, Chicago, Rosemont, and this is just part one. Plenty of cities coming after that. It's live stand-up, live AYG. It's a good time. Get your tickets now. We'll see you there. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Yeah, it is. It's a little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out if they grew up to be classy mm-hmm. or if they're just a big old piece of trash. I'm your host, Stage Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day down here in Aunt Tony's basement. She's outside, just set up a lemonade stand. <laughs> just lean, but still. <laughs> She's trying. Selling scissor. My co-host is coming at you from right next to me. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage. He's an international man of business and mystery. <laughs> Sexuality. Yes. We like it. Give it up for KJ. Kippy Kevin James Ryan. Hey, gang. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. And as you know, those numbers are... True to roof. Thank you. And then, Love obviously, you. the greatest website of all time, patreon.com slash are you garbage. Sweet Lord. We're about 100 and so patrons away from our next goal, which is... Taking the big man to Disney World first. Get me first an Epcot. Time ever. Yeah. I want a big lolly and some Mickey ears. Drinking around the world. So check it out. Uh, how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the magic man, the brains behind the Are You Garbage special. Uh huh. It's on YouTube right now. You got to check it out. Give it up for T Bone McMuffin, Toby McMullen. What's up, dudes? Hey, T Bone. I wouldn't say I'm the full brains. We got a big headed man sitting at that table who also contributed quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I had 104 fever at the time, so I don't know. I didn't even know if you were on the other line of the phone. Gang, we could not, and I mean could not, be more excited to have our incredibly special guest back with us again today. If mm-hmm. you haven't seen this episode, you got to go back and check it out. One of the funniest stand up comedians out there right now. He has a brand new album out right now called King Scorpio, mm-hmm. and he's going to be filming his first official special. February 3rd, down there in New Orleans, Orleans. at Tipitina's. He's doing two shows, a seven and a nine, real classy. Uh You can get some ticks at me, SeanPatton.com. Do me a favor. Give me a nice, put down what you have in front of you. (laughs) Put the kids to the side for a second. Stop making dinner and give me a nice big round of applause for Mr. Sean Patton, everybody. Come on. He's one of the best. Thank you. Personal fave. Personal fave of ours. You know what I want? I want there to be, I want to, can I, thank you. Thank you guys for having me back, (laughs) by the way. Of course. First and foremost, and nice to meet you, Toby. I don't think, I think you were, I think you were, uh, last time I was on, it was not Toby. It wasn't. It wasn't. Toby it, wasn't born yet. It was. Yeah. Toby was not alive yet. Toby. He was. Toby was still in the test tube. Yeah. <laughs> Elon Musk was making him somewhere. Right. right. But They're still uh, trying to figure out his battery. The, I, I, there should be a Patreon uh, tier where if you guys get to it, you guys will read any bedtime story. Oh, okay. that's pretty good. Because the, the, the two of you together. Oh, yeah. It's, read, yeah, yeah. Reading any bedtime story. <laughs> I like Listen, it. kids. All right. Listen, what you want to do is you want to go down there. Yeah. The problem with the dwarves, there were seven of them, but only four of them was Union. I didn't understand. Try. <laughs> so hey, come in. They got this fucking broad sleeping in her bed. They're out of work all day. They come back. She didn't make dinner or nothing. <laughs> And she's got her grandmoms come looking for, and the fucking horses start coming. Now they're coming with fucking axes and pitchforks for us. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> And, but they got the security system, right? <laughs> ADP. And, that, and that cost an arm and a freaking leg yeah. there. I can't I can't do the... Fi- fuck. I feel like I have the Philly accent for like one sentence, and it's, then it just... I lose it, too. Yeah, falls it's off. Tough. Not, you have, you don't, actually, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I don't think you'll ever lose it. I don't think... Uh, uh, no, you're like, I, yeah. you're like Jordan with a jump shot. Yeah. I always go yeah, Brooklyn yeah, for anything. wake you up in the dead, dead sleep and hit a, hit a three. <laughs> I'm sorry, you. I'm sorry. Allen <laughs> Iverson yes. with the crossover. Yes. Let me remember who I'm talking to. Yeah, there it is. Talking to. Fuck. Talking to. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this uh, it's I I that's good to it's good to be back good. here because I like uh I like this podcast because I like it. What you guys did after the last time I did it 
was it made me really examine my life. Mm-hmm. We get that a lot. Yeah. You, yeah. Look, you look inward a lot. You, you look inward and you're like, wait a second, though. What? And then you start to flip it around and be like, wait a second. Is garbage just what we're told by the fucking 1%? By yeah, the powers that be, yeah. they do it too. Who they say do it this too. is a bad thing to be? When in reality, it's we're the beautiful. Everyone's Garbage's got blood on our hands. Yes, we are the beautiful. Yeah, the really garbage are. is the beautiful. Mm-hmm. Right? With that, without a doubt. Now there's lines that slip and they fall and they cross and it, it gets a little dicey and stuff like that. But for the most part. It's good to be garbage. You can't it's have fun. garbage without a good time. Yes, yes. it's a good fucking yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, good garbage, nice box of wine. Bad garbage, leaving your cigarette out in front of the Seven Eleven when you go in to get a taquito. Right, right. They come out and rip it. Good like a garbage, scumbag. you know, some empty condom wrappers. You hey, know, uh, that's a good time. Maybe. Even if you're by yourself, that's a dress <laughs> right, rehearsal. Right, you know what yeah. I mean? Uh, you know, bad time, uh, a bad garbage, you know, aborted fetus. <laughs> or <a> fetus <laughs> in a trash everywhere. can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't did, you guys, did you guys, my first experience with a condom definitely wasn't with a woman. No. I definitely tried. There was definitely, hey, mm-hmm. there was definitely some dress rehearsals. Yeah, I don't for trust, sure. I don't trust anyone who first time with a condom was with a woman. <laughs> How would you know what the, yeah, you had to figure it out on your own. When I was a kid, I, when we talk about it like Little League, about condoms and rubbers, I thought it was rubbers, like a thing. Rubbers is a Yeah, rubbers. we called them rubbers back then. Yeah, I, think doctors, I think doctors <laughs> called them rubbers. Rub- <laughs> hey, kid, you got rubbers on you? I think they actually were originally trademarked as, as rubbers. rubbers. yeah. yeah. No, that's, <laughs> rubbers is tough. Rubbers is not a... It makes me weird. You got your rubbers on you? Yeah. You got a rubbers. Christ. Wait, what was another? Rubbers? Con- uh, uh, the Jimmy's? Jimmy's. 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 Jimmy's, Jimmy's is bad, too. Jimmy's was a. I mean, I, I can tell you right now, the first, my first ever. It, this will. I, if I didn't say this on the last podcast, this was will, in a store. No, <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> you sir, open, you have to you buy those. <laughs> One of the first things I ever stole was a box of condoms. Nice, really, right? And I and I masturbated in each and every one of them. It yeah, was like, nice. it, was like a, it was an eight day trial period of just like <laughs> doing it again. You returned them, didn't like. It. <laughs> <laughs> I fell asleep right after this. Um, uh, you know, I was fourteen. I was very lubricating though when you put it on for the first time. You're like, Dude. oh, wait a minute. Well, it's almost. I don't need the broad. Yeah, Hold exactly. on a second. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost like I'm a piece saving of ass movie money. Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ripped for my pleasure. Yeah, yeah. It was. Uh, the moment you put it on, you're just like, wait, this is just the protection? Uh, yeah. Dude, well, it's This the, is going to be awesome. I know. It's the first, <laughs> what's it protecting me from? <laughs> for being more awesome. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's the first time you have like a new sensation as like a whatever, a 14-year-old or whatever. You know what I mean? Instead of just like some lube or conditioner in the shower. That's a good thing as well. You ever make the mistake and go shampoo? Sure. Shower? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Catch a stinger. I did no, dishwasher, yeah, so palm olive, Ooh. and then left it on there like an idiot, Ooh. and my skin peeled like I was fucking. Uh, it was bad. It was what? like Hiroshima down there. It was tough. <laughs> I do that. I mean, Kids I remember, screaming in yeah. the streets. I remember using a fucking. You, you ever? You remember when? I mean, I don't think this is an age specific thing, but it happened a lot more when you're younger. When you would just go on a masturbation tear. Yeah. <laughs> Like specifically the first time you ever saw internet porn, you're like, this is just free oh, and crazy. unlimited and thumbnails. Yeah. I remember being 20 years old, just going on a fucking tear, but I was using Prell, right? Shampoo. Prell. Ch- uh, you know? Well, that's the, the tough stuff. The hard yeah, stuff. Yeah. 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 What, are you trying to get the curls out? What are you doing down there? <laughs> I just wasn't, I just hadn't put two and two together that. Were you, you know? in the shower? Or no, you were outside, no, no, of, was outside in- of the shower <laughs> using shampoo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, my God. Because I, it was just this a bad. plays by his own rules. Dude, bad move. But it ruined it ruined my unit for like three or four, three to five days. Jeez. It was just a, it was, you know what I mean? It was like I was a burn victim, you know, <laughs> and uh, and I and it was the only time I've ever it had missed... great bounce though. I'll tell oh, you yeah. that. Oh yeah, yeah. What a what a what a volume. <laughs> smelled smelled like springtime, <laughs> but I actually missed a chance to actually hook up with a woman because, because of that. It was because all it was all banged up. Ah, yeah. irony right there. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. yeah. Wounded soldier. Treat can't yourself can't like an yeah. amusement park. I think that was a Charles. That was Charles Dickens example <laughs> of irony itself, or or or, or uh, activity and consequence. Ah. On a fortnight, I was masturbating with Pro. Mm. That's dude to masturbate on a couch or a computer chair. Computer chair with shampoo. <laughs> That's oh, crazy. Yeah. That's oh, crazy yeah. to me. It was it, it was the one it's and every, only it's time. It's got to get everywhere. There was no lotion in the house. There was no lotion. Uh, I had used the conditioner was done, 
And in my head, I was Dirty just work. like, well, <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. the conditioner I broke up the week before. Yeah. Let me just say this. I had bottle conditioner was done and never once did I use it in my hair. <laughs> All right? uh, but yeah, like I was like, whatever. Same thing. Same difference. The conditioner thing. is the hardest you go. You yeah, don't, you don't go you. shampoo. Yeah, you got to go. You don't go soap. Especially in the not some herbal essence or something Ooh, back in the 90s, light. early 2000s. That's, the, the herbal essence is, is the lightest you would want to go. Mm-hmm. But yeah. yeah. I as mean, far the, as you did shampoo. Herbal essence shampoo was very, very organic, very clean. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. The go-to Smelled for years too. was Pam. Oh. Just Pam. Just Nuh-uh. cooking spray, You're, dude. No, I'm get not the even, fuck I'm out not of here. What? With you for a second. You would use Pam for cooking spray years. on your unit. What are you working at Benihana? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> dude, just it's one spray, and the lubrication factor is just it's you know because the heat. <laughs> it's the like, heat. It's built for heat. It's built to withstand heat. Plus the eggs don't stick. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Slipping all over the place. Exactly. Yeah. Why, wow. why would they give it a lady's name if they didn't want me to jerk off with it? <laughs> exactly. It's not called Pete. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Seductive Pam. There you go. Holy shit, Pat. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Pam. Now, you bringing that into the room? And what? hold on. Is this as a kid? Yeah, I mean, so you're operating behind enemy lines. You're not sneaking down to the pantry in the middle of the night <laughs> and then running back up. Well, my, 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 my like best friend growing up had like a garage room with a foosball table in it and a couch. So we would all, you know, we had three was, cases of Pam for some well, reason. Well, Pam to lube up the uh, the the foosball rods. Ah, uh, okay. And okay. one of these nights when we were drunk, hammered, and I was the only, and everybody, people had gone into the house, and I was, I'm like, I'm just going to crash in here on the couch. And there were, there were nudie mags, and I was like, I mean, it fucking, it loops up the foosball rods. I get it. In theory, like, oh, this, it does make that's sense. That's pretty close to using WD-40. Yeah. I'll tell you that right <laughs> it now. It is. It is. It is. You're real but close to jerking off with caulk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got the gun. <laughs> 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 Just give me a minute. Give me a minute. <laughs> jerking <laughs> off with window caulk like a scumbag. There you go, bro. Ouch. Holy I'm, ser- I'm serious. No, I mean, dude, Pam is, and it's, and it's, you lose, it's like olive oil base, you know? So olive oil's all right. Olive oil and is a good. pinch olive oil is all right. When you want to feel Mediterranean, it's not. Yeah, bad. yeah, yeah. When you want to feel, <laughs> when you want to feel exotic, <laughs> yeah. But no, nah, dude. Yeah, Pam. I, I I highly recommend it for the for the kids listening. Gee, <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little spray on the hand. Don't bring it in your bedroom because what's going to happen is your mom's going to find it yeah. in your bedroom. That's a tough and have one. Questions. To, yeah, that's a tough have one to questions. talk yourself out of. Oh, you I remember of trying. Like, yeah, I love I love Chef Ramsay or whatever. Like, what the fuck are you going to say? One time, my. <laughs> My mom found a can. She was like, "Why was this by the computer desk?" And I said, it's I Pam? Had, yeah, because I was like, because I had to lube up the chair. I was like, the chair was squeaking. not bad. And she and I got away. It, it was like one of those like, okay, that was the one. That was the one time I get away with that. Mm-hmm. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you flew too close to the. All of a sudden, you're Mister Fisk fixing around the house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, it well, the door squeaky, right, mom? <laughs> well, because, goddamn screen door. <laughs> dude, my sister got grounded and had to clean the entire fucking house for a week once. And she found it in my bathroom and was like, why was this in your bathroom? And I did the same thing with the toilet seat. I was like, the toilet seat was squeaking. And it worked with her. So (laughs) your mom wasn't around. My mom wasn't around because she'd have been like, oh, oh, wait a second. Why are are you sitting in all these squeaky seats, Sean? Because I jerk off in them. Or she would have been like, my little Sean's very handy. Uh, Very handy. I mean, I imagine that's got to be a moment every father goes through with their son. Where you realize all the moments that they're just jerking off. Wailing on them. I feel like I was yeah. pretty good. I got away pretty clean. <laughs> Wailing on them. <laughs> I don't think I ever really got caught. There might have been some suspicion. There was something with like the browser history on the family computer. Some questionable got, charges. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, got sure. called, that got brought in front of, you know, a jury of my peers, but Yeah, nothing that could be turned no, into yeah, no, no state's eyewit- evidence. No, no eyewitness no. testimony, no. Oh, yeah. hearsay. Hmm. It's it's lubri- it's lubricant extraordinaire. I was, I was I was I did a lot of dry work myself. You know, I wasn't lubing all the time. Oh my God, yeah, naturalist. You huh? just got a natural oily, uh-huh. <laughs> a natural sheen. That's a superpower. It secretes no, out of his hand. It's real dry. <laughs> It's real dry. It's just, Jesus. That would yeah, be it's like a bricklayer. Like the rough stuff, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody yanking Pulling at you. my own hair. <laughs> Somebody uh, grabbing at you. I love the idea of just an awful version of Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah. you, just, you get bit by a, stri- a radioactive stripper, <laughs> yeah. and you can, squirt, you can squirt lube out of your hands. Bit by a pervert. <laughs> uh, I'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> Runs off, comes back five minutes later. Dude. That's that's wild. Yeah, I mean, I, but I mean, like, do you guys have kids? No, 
But that's what that's what I'm wondering about. Fathers just having to be like, well, he's taking another shower, huh? Yeah, forty five <laughs> yeah, minute shower. I mean, I like, get you it. gotta yeah, yeah, know yeah, 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 at some yeah. point. You you know they they you have to. I, yeah. There's no way a guy. I feel there's no way a guy can masturbate in my house and me not know. I think. I think. Well, I think. Challenge uh, accepted. I'm not, <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing later? <laughs> I'm not sure Sean's uh, religious background, but as a Catholic. We were always taught that we were operating behind enemy lines anyway. Yeah, right. I always knew there was an eye in the sky. Secret. It's like a casino. Yeah. <laughs> so I was never like it wasn't like a discovery thing. Like, oh fuck, I could do this. I knew it was always under wraps in the in in the wee hours of the evening. So, so under I, the cover I, of darkness. I would say I was ra- like, okay, you raised Catholic. Were you raised? Were, you, were your parents like hardcore Catholic or more like social Catholic? Uh, a little Le- bit of both. Yeah. I was going to hell if I was jerking off. If that's what you're asking. Oh, okay. They were hard. I was See, on the fast train. I, we were more just like social because all the good schools in Louisiana are, are Catholic schools. Mm-hmm. Where right. All the fucking money and resources are, mm-hmm. and so all the good teachers eventually get pulled. So we all, everybody went to Catholic school when I was coming up, and uh, my parents were not religious, but they were very like, "You obey the God," and then they'd go smoke weed and be there, you know, be deviant as well. But Lent, Lent. Two yeah. years, two years in a row, I gave up drinking off for Lent. What, oh, really? But I, you remember? Under Did you Lent, tell anybody oh, that? I don't believe in God that much. Well, under Get Lent, under Lent rules, Sunday was all. Sunday was on. Sunday's fair game. Sunday, you could do whatever you want. You, the thing you gave up, you could do only on Sundays. Wow, uh, we didn't have that. No, it was forty days straight through. Oh no, dude, we no, nah, I couldn't sneak a Kit Kat on a Sunday. Oh, bro, there was no meat on Friday, and, and yeah, it was lie. You were locked in. It was the worst forty days ever because I never yeah. completed. And I always felt like an asshole. All my cousin was, cousins would knock it out. Oh, they would no, give up dude. this, that, like five things. I never played that. I never even attempted. They'd be like, what do you give it? And like but CCD. They, but they ask you that in school. Like, Sean, yeah. what are you going to give it up? You didn't tell some nun, I'm going to give up slapping the ham. <laughs> no, yeah. no. You say chocolate or something. No, no of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I, I said video games, mm-hmm. shit like that. But in, in my head, it was like, I'm just not going to whack off. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. on Sundays, you'd be like, I'm only. Because all I'm doing. My parents must have thought I was meditating. <laughs> you know? That's Sean loves religion. You know? <laughs> He's just. He's in there, you know, connecting to his to the Lord. Jeez. But yeah, dude. I mean, every time they open the door, you got a rosary in your hand, <laughs> <laughs> kneeling next to your bed. It's like, is that a? Ro- oh no, that's just his exhausted cock. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking yoinked all of the spirit out of it. Oh my God, buddy! Thank you so much for coming in and sitting with us. Yes. Oh, that was um, just the intro. Yeah, <laughs> we didn't get into it. Just yet. the appetizer. Yeah. Uh, you guys, know as you sign up for Patreon, we'll ask your questions on the air. Um. And we're going to do that right now. <laughs> Are you garbage? After a word from these sponsors. Uh... This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. Yes. Folks, are you hanging on by a thin thread out there? Are you losing it? Sure, we all are. <laughs> I am right now. Certain bald guy. That's my trigger right there. <laughs> I hit the sauce more than usual. Sure. What of it? BetterHelp can help you. If you yes. have something that's standing in your way from your happiness, if you have something that you're dragging around, talk to somebody. Get it out. I started therapy. It's fantastic. BetterHelp can help, especially if you're in the areas where you can't find your specialist. They have specialists on call. That can help you. Yes, guys. It's not a crisis line. It's not a self-help line. It's professional therapy done securely online. Everybody's talking to someone. You got to talk to someone. It's not taboo anymore. It's not weird. You're, They're not you're, talking about the feds either. Keep your mouth shut. Yeah, when it comes to that, mum's the word. But talk to a therapist if you need it. Everybody can find you know the benefits of talking to a therapist. Uh, special offer for all you garbage listeners. You get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash garbage. One more time, that's betterhelp.com slash garbage. Do it. Okay, let's talk about athletic greens. AG1. AG1. As an athlete myself, of mm-hmm. course, I am on the AG1. I saw the ads on Instagram yeah. a few months ago. Mm-hmm. Turns out, bam, they become a sponsor. They send us some. I haven't looked back. I've had it every day. Yeah. All right. Great nutrition, mm-hmm. vitamins. It's like a super multivitamin. Gut health, immunity, and it gives you a little energy. If you feel good, I'm off the coffee. I'm done coffee. And I'll tell you what else I noticed. What's that? I was drinking it after my workouts mm-hmm. for a while since I've had it. Yesterday, when I got done, I was drinking it during the workout, and I'm telling you, I felt Better. Yes. I'm telling That's you. That's what it's, it's for. It's fantastic. It does everything. Uh, it's lifestyle friendly, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, dairy-free, gluten-free, whatever. Contains less than one gram of sugar, no GMOs, no nasty chemicals or artificial anything, 
and it still tastes good. We're talking about pure stuff here. It tastes great, and you put it Not with some stepped cold. On. Put it with some cold water in your thing and shake it up. You look cool drinking. You it. feel cool. It has a very Tony Stark kind of vibe it, to it. It does. Yeah. Uh, it supports better sleep quality and recovery. Supports mental clarity, alertness, the whole nine yards. You got to get involved with this stuff. Over seven thousand five star reviews. Uh, recommended by professional athletes, trusted by leading health experts such as Tim Ferriss and Michael Gervais. Well, guess who else uses it every day? My trainer. Yeah. Says it's hitting hard. Everybody's it's good using stuff, it. Baby. It's good stuff. Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. Your trainer's getting cut out of this, especially <laughs> heading into, I'm joking, into, into the flu and cold season. It froze season. up like you owed you money. Just <laughs> one scoop in a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills or supplements to look out for your health. Now. Take it easy. Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash garbage. Again, that is athleticgreens.com slash garbage to take ownership of your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Do it. Yeah. This is in the first, this is in the, the realm, and I thought this one was a little harsh, but we're, we're in here. This is from Bryce. Um, haven't had one read yet. Have you ever used anything besides a condom as a condom? Wow. Whoa. No. I mean, I th no. Have you, I, I, like, no. Saran oh, wrap? No. I think people do that. Yes. I think it's more common than we would think. I mean, I guess by that rationale, I've used the atmosphere as a condom because I've definitely pulled out. <laughs> and it, <laughs> I mean, I don't know, boy, but I'll tell you what, I took, I've rolled the dice a couple of times. Yeah. So oh, yeah. If that's what you're <laughs> I, sh I should have tried something for I sure. I mean, I guess if we're, going, if we're going deep, I mean, I have, I did have sex with a couple barren women, so I used, <laughs> they were their own yeah. condoms. <laughs> I flew close to the sun a couple of times. I'll tell you that. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I feel like I have, in some depraved moment, at some point, there was an attempt. I don't know if it ever followed a through. A Ziploc bag or something? I, I, remember, I remember definitely sizing something Stick up. Stick your little Peter in the corner. Or there was a rummaging through the kitchen, through the cabinets or something. I mean, someone had to at some point. I think... I think the first condom was I think not it's a common condom. practice in a lot of places. Yeah. Like, I feel like the first ever condom ever... Like, the first ever condom... It was like beer or a sandwich. It was an accident. Yeah. yeah. Beer the first condom sandwich. wasn't you know? a condom. Yeah, yeah. No, it, it was like lamb. It was like a lamb rectum Oh, or something. that's right. Yeah. yeah. It was lamb intestines. Yeah. That's what they used. Yeah, they right. still have those lamb skin. And that, and that I was, don't think that's <laughs> real lamb skin. Well, maybe not now. It was like a Welsh heathen who banged a sheep. <laughs> yeah. And, and when he pulled out, didn't realize that he it, popped yeah. the fucking... The, an, the, the, yeah, the anal that. vestige off with him and then went home and made love to his light wife. And then pulled out. I was like, holy. Holy shit. It's fucking still here. It's <laughs> it captured it. I should share this with the scientist in the village. This yeah. is a terror. What the fucking accent is that? I, I can't do accents. Really? I feel you like. You started to go with the Scottish for a yeah. second. It's a Sc I say, I'm living in Wales. <laughs> I'm from Edinburgh originally, but I live in Wales where they got the good ship. That's, that's not good. bad. That's, that's good. That's good. Me. But that's just accusing all. Uh, that's a big <laughs> hack comedian thing in England. Is like, oh, you're from Wales? How many sheep do you fuck? Sure. Yeah, it's like yeah. a constant. It's like the like, rednecks here. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, like even like joke. as a non-Welsh person, whenever I've been in England and then a comedian goes in that, I'm like, lay off the Welsh. <laughs> <laughs> Give them a break, God, will you? It, it, Cardiff's a good city. <laughs> What's wrong with the sheep? Yeah, yeah. And, and what are they doing? <laughs> Why are you judging the sheep? <laughs> Have you, Kevin? No. Oh, no. Never. No. Have well, you ever used two condoms? One of those little wrappers they put like little buttons <laughs> in? A little Hershey Kiss wrapper? <laughs> No. no, that and they always said don't use two condoms because in theory I've, I've used two condoms before. They say that's worse because it creates friction and easier to pop. Keeps you in the game use... longer though. Hate to tell you. Uh oh, sometimes well, I needed I, that. I should use four or five then. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Not the whole box. I'm still undefeated. <laughs> well, they have that. They have that. You could that. You could rub the cream. You numbing that, that, like that, numbing the, cream. That raid. So I just, just raid. Just what they just, do? Just, just that raid from the below <laughs> yeah, the like numbing. Spray. Put a little ambisol on your, on yeah. your noodle. Yeah. Probably no, just the bug spray. Just put a little bug spray on there. <laughs> it burns. Can't feel anything. Yeah. A little wasp spray. Uh, yeah. Cleaned me up real quick. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's see. This one's from uh, Matthew. Ever substitute water for windshield washer fluid? Yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. the time. I mean, I Fuck mean, yeah. I, I actually, that question's phrase wrong. Have ever used, used windshield yeah. washer fluid yeah, yeah, instead yeah. of water? Yeah. Well, yeah. for us, because it, it freezes. That was So that was the big thing. You couldn't. You, you had to use water, but the water had to be out of there 
by fucking you October. Mix it a little bit. Yeah. Mix it. Wait, wait, hey, wait, fuck. Wait, here's a wait, ask me that question again. Here's what I should have said. You ever substitute water for windshield washer fluid? Every time I think about killing myself. <laughs> 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 I just hydrate instead. Yeah, yeah instead of drinking. <laughs> Too dark. <laughs> <laughs> that stuff looks like fucking looks Riptide like Rush t- Gatorade. Oh, though. yeah, it looks like it tastes pretty good. It, uh, dude, I've thought, dude. Antifreeze, no. It's too, it looks like it would kill you. What What movie am I thinking of where he dr- where they drink Windex hmm. by accident? It's like an alien that drinks Windex by accident. They're I like, don't know, but that's you're not Windex. supposed to be doing that. And Sounds very alfish. Yeah, and he, bur- he burps like a bubble. Ah. But it, ah. does, it does look good. Dude, I right. can see it right Windex now. Windex with some crushed ice, be all right. I mean, yeah. Windex <laughs> looks all right. Yeah. That's, That's why they, there's the Spanish uh, Fabuloso. They had to switch up their packaging. I remember I saw that in a bodega it. one time. <laughs> I almost got, got that in a pack of combos. I would have fucking killed myself on fucking 23rd Street. Yeah. It is kind that of in like delicious. it's in like yeah. a beverage. It used to be in like a beverage, <laughs> yeah. like a twenty ounce beverage package. Yeah, what are you selling it in a six pack for you, fucking <laughs> yeah. asshole? <laughs> Trying to kill it? Why does it come with a straw? <laughs> Why does it come with a straw? It's in a juice box box. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that, I mean, that's I've definitely done that for. I don't hundred percent, hundred percent. I've done yeah. it with water. I believe I've done it with water and for antifreeze. Yes, antifreeze, a hundred percent. You just put water in the tank. That's why they used to pee in the tank back in the day when the when the coppers were chasing you. You pee really? in the tank? You could pee in your... It just needs fluid. It doesn't have to be antifreeze. <laughs> antifreeze is if yeah. you live in a cold wall. Like a cold you get weather. back to the hideout if you got a busted radiator. Yeah, you if can... you're jammed up, yeah. It's like you, putting you, a donut on. Yeah, you pee, pee into the radiator and fucking keep it moving. Uh, get somebody on a Tommy gun hanging on the back. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. What was oh, your first car? 1987 Lincoln Continental. Ooh. Shit. My aunt, my Big aunt. Body. Yeah, yeah. How many girls were in the stable yeah. at the time? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> a Lincoln that content. thing, I that know. thing with the stinking Lincoln, baby. That thing was badass. Um, Damn. What but it was color? My, uh, like, I mean, they only came in this one, like, group, like a gray, blue. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Double, yeah, yeah, double yeah. tone, two tone mm-hmm. cone. That shit was bad. I mean, it was in 1997. So it was like 10 years old. It was like a decade old. It was my aunt's car that she just didn't drive anymore. So like we got we bought it from her for cheap as fuck, but that thing I mean power everything, you really know what I'm saying? like seats. But it was like I also I power was also ashtray. the driver power drive. Yeah, there was an ashtray for sure, oh, and yeah. the back seat too. Oh yeah, yeah. on Cars the doors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. talking yeah. about that in livery yeah. cab, old livery cabs having the the uh, ashtrays on the doors. You ever get on a plane that still has? Yeah, man, and like, you're going, how fucking old is this? Yeah, thing? like should I be on this fucking old? But they're like, eh, it's a flight to Boston. <laughs> it's, pr- it's a short flight. <laughs> On the way back from Dude. France, there was an ashtray in the bathroom. There was a clean metal ashtray in the bathroom, like on the door. Have you, wait. No one in this room is old enough to have ever been on a flight when smoking. No, on, that's right? what I'm saying. Yeah. Right? No. I think I might have been. But were you like super, were you like a kid? Uh, could you smoke on airplanes in 1989? That was the first time I, I took an airplane. I definitely. I think it was up until the late, I think it was up until this century. There was a smoking section. I think there was a smoking section. On a section. plane? Up until, no. I mean, 89, I, Toby? No, no way. Smoking was banned on planes in 1988. Yeah. Wow. What? That early? Yeah. yeah. Fuck, dude. I remember, okay, because I remember smoking sections at restaurants. Oh, of that course. Dude, smoking that was, or not, we were a smoking section family. That was till yeah. like 99. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that, I, you, th- you think 99? Around there. I remember New York about that time. It was maybe 99, 2001, 2002. Well, New York had some hot. I remember New York being like, because when I, I moved here in 2007 and New York was already deep into like no smoking yeah. inside. And I, for a time in the in the aughts, it was no smoking right outside the entry. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like yeah, you yeah. would get in trouble. Yeah. Or, yeah, or shout it out. If you some just doorman comes out, starts busting yeah. your balls. I remember in Philly, yeah. you heard that New York did that. Like you can't even smoke on a street. And I'm like, you believe that? I'm never going to live there, that commie fucking city. Dude, I did I did a show in Philly once, and I I can't remember where it was because we got they got us so hammered before the show, but it was like this theater. It was this act. It was this like thespian bar. Yes, with, yeah, uh, pen and pencil. No, Could've, no, but, that's a that's a that's a writer's bar. It was called like the Players Theater, or something. Ma- something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, but like yeah. the bar afterwards, they were just like light them up, dude. Yeah, and we, and it's, it's like, like a social club. Two thousand and six. I know what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. It was all the way at the top floor. That's yeah, where the bar was. Yeah, yeah I know exactly. What you're but talking new, about. in New Orleans, you could smoke in bars still up until maybe three, not, like 2017 ish, maybe. Damn. Jesus. So like that was when I I quit smoking in 2016. But like going back in like you, back when I was like a hardcore smoker, going home and just being like in the smoking in, in, in the, the bar, bar. was. Fucking heaven, yeah, bro. I don't cool. give a shit. It was heaven. 
Yeah. It was the best. You just it, ripped through a pack and a half of American dude, spirits. The pack and the lighter yeah. sitting on the bar. Yeah. Oh, it was a else. tough look. Yeah. In a, oh, I miss it. I haven't smoked a cigarette in five years, and really? I never will again. Because I like I, I, I don't know if you guys, you guys ever smoke? We, yeah, we were smoking when you walked up outside. <laughs> oh, shit. You're still smokers. <laughs> I quit for five and a half years, but I'm, I'm Okay. Back. When you quit, though, did you quit as like a I should quit or like a I should quit? It was like I wanted to. Yeah, it was like 15 years in or whatever when I quit. Like okay. I had been smoking for 15 years. I, I got like, to give this okay. up. So, because, but I, but I got did you to, have a freak, a freak out. Yeah, I had, I got to a point where every time I smoked a cigarette, like I, my heart would get, cra- my heart would beat crazy. Really, I, I kind of got that going. Yeah, on now. every yeah. morning I would cough like <laughs> insane amounts of just yeah. smoker gook. I'd be and in my the shower. I thought that was what I was paying for. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like I, my nice my body was basically like, we're about to go on strike. Yeah, that okay. was kind of there. Yeah. I was kind of there. Well, what I wanted to say is, I know it's from being around smokers when I was a kid. Yeah. But there was a certain situation where you were like the right amount of hungry, the certain kind of hungry. The place served a certain kind of food, maybe like some mozzarella sticks, a burger, those kind of things. And it was like a bar restaurant where not sitting in the smoking session, but sitting in the non-smoking section. But you got a little bit of the oh, smoking yeah, section. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, really, really filled out the meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really, really did. Dude, we would... Ch- if we cherry coke in front of you or Shirley Temple, if they didn't have smoking section, we would go somewhere else. My dad'd be like, "Ah, now we're not going." Like he couldn't. Yeah. Like, in hindsight, he couldn't make it ninety minutes without smoking. Oh we yeah, were dude. Proper fucking smoking section. When I think about when I think like I started smoking because my grandma, bait, like we would like for years. It was like we'd go to her house after school mm-hmm. from when I was in like pre kindergarten to maybe sixth grade. Yeah, and she would just be ripping down <laughs> Pall Malls indoors. And she would have to, I would get there first, and then she would have to go, I'd be alone at her house for like 45 minutes, and I would just rip down a palm mall, and she'd have no clue. Really? I was like, you know, 12, 13, just fucking <sighs> suck it. Well, I also remember for maybe like the first five or six cigarettes I ever smoked was just like puffing, but I remember the first time I inhaled. Oh, yeah. And it was like. <gasps> it's a game changer. Oh, wow, yeah. Welcome I'm to the dark now. side, Shawnee. Do you think this is trash? I know what? Kevin feels about this. When you were smoking. Yeah. Do you think it's garbage that if you're going out to like a nice meal, you got a few people, you're going out, yeah. you're going to do appetizers, you're going to do dessert, you're going to do the whole nine yards. Do you think it's trashy that like after a couple drinks and the apps before dinner gets there, you sneak out and have a Bernie and come back? Not even sneak out. Like, I'm going to go out and have a cigarette and come back. Nah. Do you think that's trash? No, nah, no. Nah, I like that. I think I think like I think it's classy as shit. It's I, not. It's <laughs> not classy. <laughs> classy. It's, I mean, it's not classy. Yeah, I, I mean, if it's got to be, if I got, if it, it can only be categorized as class or trash, if there's no middle ground, yes. I, I do lean a little bit more towards class. <laughs> there you go. Gentlemen. Get him out of here. This guy's just, crazy. Just, just be Southern like, gentlemen over there's here. There's something, like, yeah, like, there's something about just, like, I guess the way I grew up looking at smoking, it's always looked cool. It's classy. up there, too, with stopping by the, when you have a table, stopping by the bar on the way back in and doing a shot or having a drink with your boy, whoever you're out to dinner with. Shots? No, that's trash. That's classy too. Oh my now God! Let's no, grab a drink. You go, you go to the bathroom. You bang a vein yeah. right quick. <laughs> just you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> just keeps going. It's it's like, you know? Find a vein between yeah. your toes. You know, yeah, 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 get yeah. out of here. It, you know, <laughs> on nuts. the on the ride home, you stop over, <laughs> whack a guy. You know, <laughs> he was giving out information. You know, a nice dinner. Yeah. yeah. Wait. The, um. I mean. I don't know, dude. Like, I guess it depends on how you're. No, you know what? It he thinks depends. it's garbage. If you you're in a place. An establishment. If right. you're in a restaurant, it's ignorant or rude to leave and then come back in. He thinks. No. Well, listen, okay. we would go out like we would. This is what happened. We'll go to a diner. Right. right? And a diner, I get the rules at a New York City diner. Very, you know, loosey goosey. Yeah, right? sure, you could, sure. You got post up for three days if you want to. You, you, people do. People yeah. pay rent. That's where you're supposed to do. Yeah. But he if me and him go out, we have lunch. And then he wants both of us. To go outside and smoke a, leave the table, go outside, smoke a cigarette, and then come back in and sit. Like, we're already done eating. That, to Just me, I go. the bus to smoke. We'll be right back. To hey, me, don't I go, worry about it. you've left the table. That then, that then ends the affair. You might come back in. You might, yeah, we're going to have some coffee. No, we're going to hang out. No. See no. the dessert menu. This is interesting, because I, because I, I. Whack a guy. I see that. I, I, I got to say, I still lean class. See? Oh I still lean. Is this like, a fucking setup you're, or something? You're t- what about you, Buttons? Here? You're telling. Dude, Kippy is so right. You guys oh, are psychos. Thank you. If I'm, more people would be doing it. When you got up and go out to dinner, 
Not everybody's oh, getting up. And they're fucking sitting at their table. You're going to leave your nice meal to stand on the sidewalk? Hold yeah. on. Very classic. You're telling me, all right, maybe we're over at Gallagher's. Maybe we're having a nice time. Maybe yeah. we're having a couple of drinks. We're relaxing. We just had some fucking appetizers, some crab cakes. We're waiting on the steaks. They're clearing off. You want to go out and bust a smoke real quick? Yeah, let's go. That doesn't sound nice. I see you smiling from here to here, you pizza. <laughs> no, kid. I'm no, smiling because I'm laughing. No. Yeah, then you come in smelling like an ashtray and the table next to you. It's 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 <laughs> animalistic. The, that's the worst. Yeah, three I dudes mean, all went out and smoked. I, maybe okay. Maybe I was a little off on. I I thought it meant you meant like after fuck, because before the meal, eh, that's bordering. After the meal, I'm with you on. I'm after. saying in between at the table. You're going back to the table to finish dinner. Or I whatever. think it would have to be after dinner, between post post between drinks and dessert. That I can make. I a think concession. you gotta eat the meal. You gotta do the meal first. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. And then you have a little espresso. It, yeah. You have a little shot of espresso. You like maybe his step out, have a smoke, and you're gonna be classy about it. You're gonna have a smoke. He's gonna have an old fashioned. I'm gonna have a vucare. You know they'll be waiting for you when you get back. You come. You go outside, and you gotta be and you gotta be classy smoking, not hot boxing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta yeah. be out there. You can't have like your head out the door. Like you know? I'll be right back. No, no. You gotta yeah. be out there, fucking. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta a get a cigarette the, holder sitting in a carriage. Yeah, you gotta right, have a right, trench right. coat or something. You right. know, a nice pea coat, something. All you right, gotta be telling All the right. door guy a story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey Mo, how you doing? <laughs> yeah. uh, Twenty I, years I've been coming here. You believe that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. That's pretty good. That, yeah. I'll that's give you that. Pretty I'll good, give you that. Yeah. But I think it also depends where you are. If you go to like a very nice fucking steak, Smith and Walensky or whatever, I think that's okay. But if you're doing it at an Applebee's or something. That's a bad look. That just shows that. Well, some people, Applebee's is Smith and Lewinsky's. I uh, happen to be one of them. Yeah, no, I'm a big Applebee's man myself. I like to me. stretch it out at the dinner. If I gotta go, if I gotta go, uh, if I gotta go chain, if I gotta go, if I gotta go Times Square restaurant, which You're is the category. Apple, where are you gonna, going? I gotta go TGI Fridays. Uh, oh yeah, of course. Okay. I'm of course. a TGI Fridays okay. guy. In that regard. Uh, They've. I got. I got. I lean more towards. You do have a vibe that you would walk into a Friday's and the staff would be stoked, and it would be on a Tuesday. (laughs) I feel like Sean can order off menu at a TGI Friday. (laughs) You're wearing one of their old uniforms. Timmy, have you ever got? Can you say with certainty that you've ever 100% gotten hammered? At a chain spot Fuck like that. Fuck yeah, dude. Where yeah. was Bennigan's? Ah, oh, is that a breakfast place? <laughs> Bennigan's. No, Bennigan's. That's a furniture like, store. Yeah. <laughs> but all right, Bennigan's, dude. A- actually, I can I can fucking tell you when it was the year two thousand. It was January two thousand and eight, right? I'm in a car with I can't re- Kenny Zimlinghouse. Do you guys know that guy? No. He's a comedian. He was on XM Radio for a while. We were doing a sh- we were doing shows down in South Carolina. We're driving back. We're somewhere in North Carolina, and the Giants were playing the Green Bay Packers for the NFC Championship (laughs) that year, right? And in the car with us was this dude named Tom McCaffrey, who was like a massive Giants fan. So he made us pull over (laughs) at the first place we could from Bennigan's to watch this game. I respect it. And I got like, I got unexpected. You know when you like, oop. Oh, yeah, I did get fucked up. Those are the did, best. We're like, oh, I'm shit-faced. Did all you have to do is get back in the car and back sit in the there car and drive? For five more hours, oh, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't have to drive, luckily. Yeah. But of course. We, we pee a lot. If there was a radiator hose just into the back seat, <laughs> then I could be like, I got you, guys. Then it would have been heaven. No antifreeze issues. <laughs> Kip, let's talk about Black Buffalo. Black Buffalo. Folks, you ever find yourself out there on the prairie or the ranch, <laughs> and you're at a chaw, at a sniff, <laughs> at a dip? Uh-huh. Reach for a little black buffalo. I'm telling you, it's a nicotine dip alternative that's absolutely fantastic. Yeah. We got a lot of people who dip out there, chew, yeah. long cuts, pouches, Switch whatever. Switch over. Switch over. If you're 21 or over and you dip or chew tobacco, pouches or long cut, you have to try this alternative, black buffalo. Black buffalo is everything you love about dipping, including the nicotine just without the actual tobacco stem or leaf. It's a good substitute. There you go. You know, hey, you know, if you don't want to get all completely off, try every other time. You know what I mean? Lighten the load a bit. Uh, they sell their products at blackbuffalo.com. It's available in both long cut pouches. Plus, if you're looking to ditch nicotine and tobacco completely, tap into their nicotine free options called Zero. My favorite part about this product right here, boys born in the Midwest, raised in the South. 
USA. Black Buffalo proudly manufactures their products All right the here way. in the US of A. They were sent us to us. I take it, gives you a little whoo, gives you a little pick me up. You know what I mean? It's nice. It's good stuff. Smooth and crisp. Yes. Uh, so it's a new year. If you're one of the 10 million people who are 21 and over and dip tobacco, consider turning over a new leaf by switching to Black Buffalo. Head to blackbuffalo.com. Use promo code garbage at checkout for 25% off your first order. That's the best offer you're going to find around these parts, but you have to use our code garbage for 25% your, off your first order. Yes, one sir. last time that's promo code garbage for 25 percent off your first order warning this product contains nicotine nicotine is an addictive chemical kip i want to talk about all form is that a helix Sleep i company? want to ask you a question that's what? what i heard now listen helix has been killing the battery top notch outfit for a helix. long time you yeah. take the quiz we know the drill but i heard a rumor over there at headquarters mm -hmm. that now they're getting into the sofa game it's quick, it's easy, they're comfortable, they're durable, they're reliable, mm -hmm. and it's called All Form. All Form, baby. You can customize your couch, your sofa, love seat. This whatever. is true? This is true, buddy. They were- Bunkos! Like we said, the, the good folks over there, All Form slash Helix, uh, sent us a couch. It's right over there. T-Bone sitting on it, lunching it. No big deal. Feet on the couch, by the way. Um, and your room clean? <laughs> going to take away your PlayStation. Yeah, get upstairs and get your homework done. Uh, they sent it to us. I put it together. Stop looking at your sister. I put it together myself. It's easy peasy. Everything snaps in, screws in. You, you can create the different whatever pillows you want, color, fabric. It's comfy, man. Finishes the whole nine yards. So it's check good couch. It, check it out. All uh, all form uh, has an eve. They offer a forever warranty, which is literally forever financing, flexible payment plan. So a sofa is never far away. To find the perfect sofa, go to allform.com slash garbage. And they're offering 20% off orders for our listeners at allform.com slash garbage. 20% talking 5%, 10%, 20%, 15%, 20% off all orders for our listeners. Allform.com slash garbage. Now back to the show. Yeah. But yeah, I would love to do, to set aside like a proper Thursday. Yeah. All right. Go hit a nice TGI Fridays, Applebee's, something like that at happy hour. What about a Red Lobster? Uh, it's not really a cool bar scene at the Red Lobster. All right, good point. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we'll maybe we'll go there for dinner. It's just after. filled with fishermen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but go to like a like a in like a in like a suburban town and go to like a classic. Have a classic Friday's happy hour experience. Get all the appetizers. Yeah, we should do that. All the fun signature drinks. Yeah, get hammered on like mai tais and blue wines. Yeah. I look at a shrimp, dude. When I was when I was like in in like the year two thousand, I worked at. Nothing is sadder than a wannabe chain restaurant. Oh, you know oh, what I mean. They're just trying to. They're like just like you know, yeah. picking and choosing. Like, like yeah. they got they got the t shirts you could buy, the goofy hats. They got uh, they got the crazy fucking the wacky fucking like the greeting when you walk in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, they're wearing they suspenders got the, yeah. and shit. I worked at. A, I'm not going to say the name of the place, but the name of the place was Portobello's. <laughs> I'm just going to fucking. I'm just going to say it. it was. Portobello's. Now it's all the same breath. I'm not going to say the name of the place. It's Portobello's on 3rd Street. Portobello's, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Uh, and guess what? In the in Portobello's, the apostrophe in Portobello's, because it was possessive, not plural, right? Sure. Uh, yeah. Was a Portobello. That's pretty good. Get the fuck out of here. You know? The last name. Yeah, no, Portobello's. Like the, it was a Portobello mushroom. And as the mushroom the was the apostrophe. Oh, which is very cute. I mean, I that's it's very. Dude, I don't chain know. I like it. That fucking. That, that graphic designer must have been a descendant of Leonardo yeah. da Vinci. He was like, <laughs> yeah. wait till they see this. But it had. I remember the big thing that used to drive me fucking crazy was at happy hour every day. That every, it was a margarita special. Ooh, I love it was it. like, but this is an Italian. It's supposed yeah, to be an Italian matter. joint. Yeah, yeah. Oh, happy hour. All bets like, are off. Yeah, but crazy? Yeah, margarita. We're like in Italy. It's like the Mexico of uh, Europe. You're like, mm -hmm. that's not. No one's ever said that. Did they have non-Italian dishes? Like, did they have like a crab dip? Or no, it was all. Dip? It was all. But it was all like Italian. It was like a prosciutto poppers and shit Ooh. like that. You know. I don't, I, but, Sean, I want to be on your side because you're a guest. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. His place <laughs> is checking out. Yeah. But they, they, I'm they, a Portobello's <laughs> man. I'm yeah. right now. They fucking went hard in the paint, but there was only one location. Well, yeah, that's yeah, that's a lot of branding for one location. <laughs> Just one, you know. <laughs> Franchise is available. Yeah, yeah. Um, I do love. I grew like I said. I've said a bunch. Of, I've grew up on the Applebee's, the Fridays, and there is just something. A couple of samplers and some Coronas. Man. Let's go. Um, I was <laughs> at college basketball on. They got fifteen TVs in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was in the middle of like Minnesota on a uh, on the road, and we stopped at a TGI or we stopped at an Applebee's, and I don't think it was like. By like corporate didn't sign off on this. Special. Oh, it's like a rogue. It was like fifty cent margaritas on a uh, Wednesday, and I'm like, "Well, I am blacking out." And Applebee's, dude, yeah. it was crazy. 
I mean, what else? What what would you say is the Rushmore? Is it Applebee's? It would be TGI Fridays. Applebee's, TGI Fridays. Fuck. I respect what you're both saying, but I can tell you the correct answer. Okay, here we go. It's all of them at different times. They all rise and they fall. They all have peak five years, peak six years. Remember how hot Chili's was with the baby back ribs? That's when they were killing it. So they weren't like, killing it. They, they were rise doing and all fall. Right. Tell no. you, like the, the, You're like, telling me Chili's came any, comes anywhere close to TGI Fridays? At a certain time, you're they nuts. did. They had the hot hand. You're they nuts. had the hot hand, man. I like, I like 15 how minutes of fame. Do you understand I, what I'm saying, though? I like how you're pitching this, like, season of ending of law or like finale <laughs> yeah. of lost version of like they were all at different times on the mount rushmore they yeah. were they Together. all had their moments just <laughs> yeah. like mount domino's had their moment pizza had their moment but that, but little caesar's that, had their moment but i'm talking specific okay but i that's crazy that you're so against chilies because i would put chilies uh, on the rushmore so. your chilies is fuck come on you're that's I a think, classy operation I think you're over there. crazy I mean, I feel like I, I'm not pe- saying I don't the pepper. Enjoy- they got the pepper. They got the nice branding. I don't. I don't. The think- baby. Once again, the baby back ribs. I want my baby. Every back, batch. Baby back I mean, back. come on. Everybody was singing that. Oh, yeah, man. Singing it. Yeah. No one's eating. Pearl this. officers and judges were singing that no, in court. No, but who? No. I mean, who? But who? What else was there? I can't. Think TGI of- Fridays had a fucking huge. But run. TGI Fridays, Applebee's, Chili's. But what's the fourth? I'll put like- an Outback Steakhouse up there. Outback. That's yeah, what. Yeah. There you go. Is. There it is. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, they yeah. have Bonefish Grill now. That's real popular. But that's fine. That's, that's, that's fine dining. That's not, that's not, that's not that's, a legacy. Oh that's God. fine dining. <laughs> if you talk to my mother, that's fine dining. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my mom, 100%. They have tilapia there. Yeah. I'm talking about places that cake. are at the, at at every, in every, like, Slidell, Louisiana, in every, like, sure. major suburb 30 minutes outside of a sure. major city. What big four? And you nailed it. Yes, yeah. Outback, I would lo- Chili's, TGI I would, Fridays, App- Apple. I would lose Chili's and put Pizza Hut up there as a dining establishment. You can't this go. Uh, this guy, wow, I really hate him some Chili's. Chili's, Thanks. are you hearing this, corporate? You can't get a drink at Pizza Hut. Yeah, you used to be able to. When the fuck could you get a cocktail? You, you can get a, you get a, get a, get a you drink. Just go get beers for sure. From, from get one from the truck driver who's got a six pack <laughs> waiting on his fucking. Let me get meat some lovers. from the head stash <laughs> in the back. <laughs> what do you got in the file cabinet downstairs? <laughs> you uh, couldn't get a beer at Pizza Hut. At, at my Pizza Hut, you for sure could get. Beer. There was a draft beer thing. Yes, really, one hundred percent. I think that was off. I think that was not sanctioned either. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Was a, that, I was, think that, that was, was a rogue the pizza. Guy, yeah. Pizza Huts. <laughs> <laughs> that was a Z. <laughs> pizza Huts. You were big With a T. Pizza. <laughs> pizza. You ever, you ever see some spellings of some restaurants where you're like, I wish they would have consulted a better English oh, speaker? Oh, yeah. yeah. I see it in, where I live in Astoria. I see, you know, you walk to the store or whatever, and you look and you think, not to be a dick, but you look and you're like, you thought that was going to work? Whatever it was, something like that. Like, what? What were you thinking, dude? Yeah. You sunk everything you had into this, dude. I, I okay burritos. What, what are you nuts, yeah. dude? I a story of January. I love Astoria Queens because it's like an it's just like an open mic for first time business owners. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, <laughs> holy That's so shit, true. that is fucking. <laughs> it, is, it is so. <laughs> there, it's just it, a hope it, and a prayer, it, man. It, They're it, just it, going. It, 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 you want to try at a nail salon? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you got 15 minutes on pedicures. Get but, over like, here. A, a nail salon slash rock climbing studio. <laughs> yeah, it's somewhere in Astoria. <laughs> on my on my block, there's a taco slash pizza place. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's big. Yeah, that's big. That's easy. We our our nail salon that uh, my girl gets like uh, you know her manis and petties. It's connected to a uh, juice bar that they put in. Recently, yeah, they oh, just yeah. cut a little corner out and stuck a juice bar in. That's there. big in New York, Smelling where like, like nails and shit. Yeah, you can rent the juice bar in a place. It's like you're in yes. there. And those are like juice bar Dude. for rent, and you're like, what? Get out of here! Yeah. So you remember laser tag? <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. I, I forgive yeah. me for asking such redundant <laughs> questions. This guy, such rhetorical this guy's fucking personal, questions. Yeah. Personal but, attack. So Sean you, know, you guys uh, don't know Night Rider. La- yeah. Laser tag kind of. Fake. I was in the service, Sean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude. I mean, laser tag was fun as fuck, but it's sort of faded. But you know what? The new like, have you been to an escape room yet? There's one. There's one across the street or next door. I can't. I have such a. I have such a a, a pre dude. judgment on it. It feels very. Um, uh, Jim and Pam to me, very, very, very workplace going out and doing something. Team building. Type. Well, it's also yeah. like it's also like it's no if you de- if you can't figure your way out, just ride the clock out and yeah, you're they're free. gonna come get you. There's no stakes. There's another group coming in at yeah. four. Like if there if there was actual. Have you stakes, done it? 
Yeah, yeah, I did one in New Orleans. Like, if you actually had to sign a waiver. To say you're it was stuck like, in there. Listen, if you don't get out of here in 60 minutes, there will be poison gas <laughs> filling the mausoleum. Spice up a uh, Thursday, huh? <laughs> <laughs> like, really put some fucking pressure? For sure. Or, like, that's the thing I think is Alan so in accounting got a spear to the neck. <laughs> just, he, he signed out. He signed <laughs> off on it. But it's like. You're in like the mausoleum or the crypt or like the, it's like, I, if I actually stumbled upon a dungeon, I would be like, this is kind of interesting. Let's hang out. Like, see, like I want. Take it back. You got a black light and a TV in there. Give me some like real world, like my, like Thanksgiving with your sister's in-laws. Yeah. You got to like, navigate that. Get, get out of that situation. Yeah, the handsy uncle. Yeah. A really complicated escape room. That would be pretty cool. Like one where it's actual shit you wanted to not be involved in. Almost like, like Tony that, and Tina's wedding meets an escape room. I guarantee, yeah. I guarantee in a story right now is an escape room wedding chapel. <laughs> <laughs> if you could get through these life situations. Uh-huh. You and like- dollar slice place. <laughs> That's perfect. Oh. Very good. All, All right. right. We got more questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. Of oh, course. Yeah. Of course. Um, let's see. This is from Stanley. Ever put cold cuts in a taco shell? Every single day of my life. No, <laughs> not in a while, but fuck really? yeah. Really? You've done that? And I, and I want to emphasize the shell part. The, 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 the hard, hard shell. shell. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Roast I've, beef in a hard shell? I've never Christ. thought of it, but it sounds fantastic. Can I say this about them? Yeah. All right. I don't know if it was my mom put them in the oven too long or whatever. I never really had a good home kit shell. taco shell. The Ortega. Nah, yeah. dude. They never did. I would just rather have that shit in a bowl with some fucking tortilla chips on it. Some fresh Tostitos. I'd rather have the taco salad. Well, taco salad is, is superior. In a, oh, yes. But I, okay, so Ranch growing up, dressing, good uh, I, I'm kind of spoiled on cold cuts because my dad has a catering uh, business. Mm-hmm. Remember? Yep. Yes. Right. So, like, all my life, we never had, like, Oscar Mayer or anything. He would just, the, like, he would just sl- carve it. But I mean, it was, you and know, bring it home and bring it home. So like not boar's head, but whatever the equivalent of boar's you head. You had your access to own to your own deli counter. Pretty much. I mean, my dad would just bring shit home whenever Damn, grocery time. That's pretty good. Yeah. But I mean, it also meant you were eating a lot of like, hey, so we're going to eat shrimp. Shrimp uh, pasta for the next three days, yeah, huh? Because it came, yeah, it came in like a five yeah. gallon jug. Well, because yeah. well, because you know the Hibernia Bank grand opening expected <laughs> two fifty, and they only got one eighty. So you know, we got two pans yeah. of a, a lot of meatballs and mashed potatoes oh, coming your oh, way, dude. A lot of Swedish meatballs growing oh. up. Oh, ain't nothing wrong with the, it. The, ain't nothing the, wrong with the, it. The, I mean, dude, if there is, if there is, the the best way to make something seem classy that's not classy at all. Swedish meatball. Yeah, yeah, it's 100%. like percent. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, hundred percent. But God, do I fucking love them. Give me Fish. the two. All I need is one toothpick. Yeah. I'll make it last. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, for sure. Everybody gets their own color, color coded <laughs> toothpick. All that stuff is fantastic. We were talking about that yesterday. We were shitting on KFC because he makes sometimes at home he just makes little um, pigs in a blanket. Little pigs in a but blanket. But he home makes them for dinner. He home makes them for dinner. He'll get like the wait who. The, um, Kevin Clancy over at Barstool. Guy oh, at Barstool. Yeah, 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 he, yeah. Made, he makes his own little little crescent hot dog, Jones. Dude. He gets the crescent rolls and then the hot dog. But like, Which I, res- I do respect it, but as a whole, I need a potpourri. I need to have that with the Swedish meatballs, with the spinach balls, with the little slices of uh, this, that, and the other thing. I like to have all the hors d'oeuvres for dinner. You're like a Jackson Pollock <laughs> <laughs> of hors d'oeuvres. Just, spr- just smatter it everywhere and just observe. Those little puffs. Be inspired. I love those little puffs. Oh, those little puffs are all but right. But you, uh, you, you get a roast beef in a pan. You put a little of that roast beef gravy. Get that shit real hot. You microwave the Ortega. Bam. Hot roast beef tacos. Come on. What are you putting on top of it? <sighs> Nothing. Really? Just raw dog in it? I like that. Tr- yeah. I like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, dude, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Be, I'm not going to pull punches here on, on anybody, like myself included. Like that sort of eating is my favorite sort of food. It's like, pretty good. I, I don't even know what you call it, like assassin style or yeah. makeshift Homeless, sing, single wanna, dad. Yeah, single dad. Single dad. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. just like, I got to get creative here. What do I, I got? I am switching you know? back more to finding the joys of the grocery store. Oh yeah, because we've been I, we've been ordering way too much and all that stuff. I am I am finding the the. the it is a different kind of joy. A fresh loaf of bread, some fucking lunch meat, a fresh thing of mayo, oh, yeah. a couple nice slices of tomato, a fresh bag of chips, new pickles. I mean, dude, it doesn't get much better than that. Dude, I, you know what? There should be I mean, a- Aren't you on a diet? What are we doing? <laughs> just, just We're describe, talking about You described it. a 4,000-calorie lunch. I'm on a financial diet, I said. <laughs> Saving money here. You get what I'm saying. There should be a gruel restaurant. 
What's you know, gruel? Like a gruel is just a, a word for just like a like if you mix like beans and oh, yeah, yeah, fucking yeah, sliced yeah, hot dogs yeah, yeah, yeah. and crush up some Doritos in there. You know, but like that, dude, a gruel, you just walk in, you're like, yeah, God, give me the hangover. And it's just, you know, just a, a eggs uh, mixed with you know, spaghetti, yeah. chili. Yeah. You know, <laughs> spaghettios. Dirt bag bowls. That's yeah, what they dude. Be. Oh my God. I'd I'd live at this place. That would be pretty good. This is perfect. This is from Paco. Uh have you ever been to a small fast food chain in your city and been able to order mac and cheese with chopped up hot dogs in it? There's a place in uh, Tucson called EG's that has Kraft macaroni and cheese with chopped up hot dogs in it, which I feel like I would order just, you know, you're in the neighborhood. You got to try it. I'm stopping by. I don't know what to tell you. There's a, there's, there there's were, a novelty. I know I've stuff. shown my fat really bad over the last couple of minutes, but. This question wasn't the one that was going to redeem me. <laughs> no. Drop a pin in that on Google Maps. I feel like through. I feel like there's um, I feel like there's a spot. There's like a New Orleans has a couple of like you, here you'd call them bodegas, but there they're just like stores, you mm-hmm. know. But they're stores. just little fucking. They're, exactly. Just think of what a bodega is. If you don't know what a bodega is, just take like a Seven Eleven. But it's low. It's there's only one Strictly of them. All the lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's only one. Um, and they make like cigarettes. Yeah. Throw a couple of cats in there. And they have a, exactly. And they have a, and a lot of beer. And they have a, a deli counter, right? Of there's course. A, there's a there's a place in New Orleans called Verdi Mart in the Lower French Quarter. That's amazing. I'm pretty sure they used to do a macaroni and cheese with spam. Ooh. That sounds awesome. And that sh- they also th- this is kind of a not a plug but an advertisement in a way. Like they do a sandwich there called an All That Jazz. Which is, you know, uh, po' boy bread, uh, uh, turkey, ham, hot, all this hot. Turkey, ham, bacon, shrimp, three types of cheeses, and like a, like a Thousand Island-esque dressing, and tomatoes. And what are you doing to me? Blows yeah. your fucking dick in half, Fucking like rock hard over here. That's but, cool. like, I was home over the holidays, and I was out with, you know, Friends and family, and everybody went home before me. And that's my problem when I drink. I just want to fucking stay out all goddamn night. Sure. So I was out by myself for a little bit, and I stumbled to Verdi Mart. And I go, this is such a New Orleans experience. I was like, uh, let me get in all that jazz. It's like 3.30 in the morning. And like, Can I get all that jazz? And the woman behind the counter goes, baby, I ain't got the energy to make that for you tonight. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like, I'll make you anything else, half off, what you want. And I, like, laugh. I'm like, it's fine. I'm like, I, what's easy? She's like, I can make you a chicken cut, the pole boy. I'm like, that's great. That's great. So she's working on that, and I'm I'm grabbing like a bag of chips, and I'm going to the counter, and uh, this fucking old ass dude walks in, grabs like a 24 ounce Coors, puts it on, and they're like, Mickey, you know you can't pay for that. Mickey, you know you ain't got no money. That's the woman, the other woman behind the counter. She's like, Mickey, you know you ain't got no money. You can't pay for that. And he's talking basic drunk gibberish. Sure. And these there's guys like that everywhere, just old drunks. And I was like, what is it? What's what's? I I got it, and I paid for his. And he like gibberish thanked yeah, me. And I was like, you know, happy, you know, Merry Christmas, whatever. And he leaves and I'm paying for my stuff. And then the woman comes over with my sandwich. She's like, I made you, I made you one anyway, because you uh, took care of Mickey. And I was like, What? Oh man, that's Fuck heartwarming. It. Yeah, Look like, at that. that is. She Dang. made me one anyway. But then I was like, that, that didn't seem like it took that long. Yeah, exactly. You made it in the same amount of time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But whatever, thank you. The dirtbag um, miracle. Yeah, dude. You gotta always buy always buy the drunk guy a drink. That's oh, that's like a yeah. motto I live by. Like mm-hmm. if you Very got sweet. an extra dollar twenty, and a guy wants a fucking. Them. Sometimes they get mad at you though because they don't want the guy coming around. Sometimes. Yeah, I guess that's a good. If point. he's a problem, it's like don't be giving him that because then he's gonna come. You'll be hanging out problem. looking for you again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. This like what I'm about to say. It's like it sounds like I'm trying to like sound like a good person, but I have a soft spot where I always give. I try and always fucking give, especially like guys in my neighborhood who I see. Sure. I try and always break them off some, but like. My my girlfriend has a point. She's like, half those dudes aren't even actually homeless. Yeah. Because you see them, they're wearing fresh Nikes. And It's mm-hmm. funny you mention yeah. that because there's one lady that collects change right by the, uh, the Queens Bar Bridge that I just want to open the door every time I drive by her because I know she's doing that. She does. She's not homeless. Yeah. She's just yeah. doing it as a hustle. Now, yeah. There is a dude who does the windows that way I always break off when I see him. Not even for a window. Just give him a buck or whatever yeah. if I'm stopped at a red light. But you know this lady. You know this lady's face. I see her. I just go because you know she just uh, what's making I, it. I, which if, if she's if, brutal, she just yeah. gives you like this really sad, like like pathetic face. But I know she's hustling everybody. But there's also you a see her walking around regular between yeah. a, a New York drunk and a, and a New Orleans drunk. Oh yeah, yeah. Is like totally because they're like culturally wet brain down there, and C- it's like nice. wet brain. <laughs> <laughs> culturally. Well, they're, they're like they're falling off stools, betting on turtle races and shit. Oh, dude, chicken drops, dude. 
What's a chicken What's drop? What's a chicken drop? Chicken drop. I mean, this happens more in like north of the like people forget that like New Orleans is here and then 30, 40 miles north is Mississippi. Mm-hmm. Right. So in between there's there's bars that do chicken drops, which is it's a bar. You walk in there on the floor is a grid drawn into the floor with numbers all over it. Uh, everybody places numbers on the uh, bets on the numbers and they put out a chicken and whichever number the chicken shits on. That person wins the kitty. Wins the all the money. Yeah. The chicken drop, baby. They That's serve food good. in there too. Oh, they serve everything in there, dude. Yikes! And I, I mean, we used to do uh, bet on the gumball that would come out. It was like the you would be at the bar, get all boozed up, <laughs> oh and you're looking for some action. You know, everybody what bar would... has a gumball machine in it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> also, I like I like how it's like, oh yeah, gumball. Chicken turds. Yeah. <laughs> dude, with a gumball. No, I'm we used to play a little game in polo. Camp. I would love that, dude. If I walked into a bar and you're betting on where a chicken shits, fucking yeah, sign dude, me up. Drop, I want to buy shares in the place. We're not talking about gumballs here. We're talking about feces. God damn it. Yeah. I'm saying I like the action. Get I want it. Dirty. I like the. I like the action. <laughs> Come on. I mean, we should, they should do that with a, a human at this point. Just a bl- just blindfold a guy. <laughs> feed him a bunch of X lax and just run out there and just all right, spin him around wherever he fucking blasts. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Like, why wasn't that in Squid Games? You know what I mean? Feel like a fucked up Hunger Games. That would be great just for entertainment. <laughs> yeah. Whoops, a daisy. That was a coffee belch. <sighs> but yeah, wet brain, that's such a that's such a <laughs> that is such a great way to say it, dude. Yeah, there's I mean, I, every city has I get this, what you're but saying like, too. I understand. Yeah, but like, you know, guys who like probably a lot of them came back from Nam and shit and just started drinking and never stopped. Yeah. Or like, you know, maybe not even that, but like, yeah, those guys who are like, oh man, you haven't been sober and 35 years yeah mm-hmm. you need this little nip yeah to like keep going straighten that guy out yeah 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 and yeah. you got your sandwich and i got to all that jazz baby <laughs> i highly recommend if you're ever in the city verdi mart all that jazz you talk about garbage gone right good oh. stuff see good garbage good that's garbage good. hole garbage in the wall right place there. to get a really good sandwich at 3 30 in the morning and help on a homeless guy good garbage top yeah. notch murdering the homeless guy out front because you didn't get the sandwich Bad garbage. <laughs> with the sandwich you got instead, beating him. To, he got beat to death with, with a chicken. Cutlet. I got a yeah. fucking cutlet for you. <laughs> uh, All right, let's do a couple more. Then we got a wrapper up. Um, dude, it's been a food heavy one. Uh, this is from TJ. Love it. Ever put uh, ever put shredded cheese on a sandwich? Like you had, you didn't have the slice. Fuck yeah. Slice of American cheese or cheddar cheese or Swiss cheese. Yeah. And all you have is like the... Yeah. The three blend Mexican yeah. shredded cheese. The taco mix? Yeah, dude. What's this guy with his, what's this guy with his softballs here? Yeah. <laughs> what's this guy? You come at me with this pussy what's shit? This there guy? is nothing more yeah. better of a value than shredded cheese. Wait, is this guy... Wait, what's his name? TJ? TJ. Does that stand for Training Wheels Jackson? <laughs> this fucking guy with these questions? You're playing with the big boys now, TJ. <laughs> Have I ever put shredded cheese on a sandwich? I ran out of Kraft Singles. What do you want from me? You got well, hungry what? kids here. I feel like you were about to launch into a recipe you came up with. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. were. You had something on the in the yeah. hopper just now. What? You were like, like the shredded the cheese. cheese. You put it... You were like... You're getting oh, you're getting poetic here. You I'm don't it. You, you you don't get a better value than the shredded. There, there's always so much cheese left over after you make tacos, or you use the bag of shredded cheese. Of course, it's there for weeks. Yeah, you got to use it. I yeah. tend to I yeah. tend to if that is if I'm cooking and that's my only option is the shredded cheese. I tend to try to make something where I meld it. You know what I mean? You oh, melt some it. eggs. Melt it. What are you, a blacksmith? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a smelter. <laughs> I grill it right to me teeth. <laughs> Suck on it for hours. Like, I like to grill a steak on an anvil. You pound the fucking thing. You pound it. It's got to be tender. Yeah. Dude, of wait. course. Yeah, yeah. Shredded cheese and eggs, it melts in there like oh, butter. Oh, man, it's great. You don't even have to put a lid on it or nothing. But they don't make American shredded cheese and that's the problem with the country these days. But I, I tell you, you're it's wrong. not it's cheddar, it's this, it's that. You can't do American because it sticks together. I've never seen it. They no, I think they for I sure. I don't do think it. they do. I wanna I'm gonna flip I'm gonna flip this question on a couple guys from Philadelphia, dude. All right. Cause <laughs> fuck shredded Go cheese. You ever put you ever put whiz on a sandwich, dude? Oh of yeah. Of course, yeah. Dude. I used yeah. to fucking take cheese cheese whiz in the jar, heat it as a fat kid, heat it up and just dip like pretzels and crackers, like just fucking Drink. You're talking about, and it looks like a little mustard jar. It was called Cheese Whiz. Cheese Whiz. It was like orange and yellow. I'm talking whatever. about the shit that they put on uh, Philly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cheese Whiz. Yeah, we my house. We used to keep a jar of it in the house. Dude, can I tell you my how excited the first time I ever went to Philadelphia, 
And I didn't know going in, but the first time they were like, "You want Wiz or Wiz?" Yeah. The first Wiz, time I yeah. the, the 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 I I knew that I was an obese person in my past life because mm-hmm. I was like the level of excitement of like you're gonna put fucking cheese whiz on a sandwich oh, love it <laughs> love it give it to me isn't that illegal man what are you doing I don't wanna get in trouble man welcome to Philly can we do this is this allowed I don't even care yeah did you have from the catering company did you guys have like would you have like huge things of ice cream and this and yeah. that yeah. I'd imagine you yeah. would my whole fucking life, dude. My dad, yeah, like all every gro- like was all just stock you're eating pump. somebody's wedding cake on your birthday. Dude, so much, dude. <laughs> Congratulations, Julia. Yeah, I like I can cook really well, but only for like fifty to hundred people. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like Jerry Stiller. I yeah, like it. Yeah, dude. It's like fucking. That's so funny. You grow up. You grow up. Just what I was. You got was, a communion party you need? I got gotcha. you. Well, dude, like I used to split time after school between my grandma's house. And my dad's actual go to the actual business, which was just the house that he grew up in. They turned it into the actual business, uh. right? So the it depended on which like half the week I go to my grandma's, half the week I go there. And if I was in trouble, I had to go there because I couldn't hang out with friends and mm-hmm. shit. But I used to go. I used to fucking go into the walk-in cooler, and I would just spoon feed myself caviar. I didn't realize what caviar. Caviar. I love that shit. Damn. But I would just because I would just go in there when I was hungry. And just be like, I don't like whatever, fucking yeah. know celery and. Uh, Did you ever get caught? Your dad? Like, dude, talking about that, black caviar. When my dad like caught the expensive. Yes, shit? when he caught me spoon feeding caviar, I was like, "What the fuck are you doing?" <laughs> Three grain like, right there. Yeah, sure. Exactly. I'm like, "What?" And I'm like, "It's just, it's just salty dip because it's so." Good. I love caviar still to this. Fucking Talk about day. a kid with a fucking high profile palate over here, dude. I, I wouldn't go near oh, that when I, I was a kid. Love that now shit. I fucking crave it. Well, I didn't know what it was, though. I just was, like, trying it. I like. I think I actually dipped a Frito in it. <laughs> and was like, holy shit. And it was, like, hooked. And it was spo- like, weeks, just this one jar, I would just hide behind all the rest and fucking Your slam Your dad's it. going over the books at the end of the month. We're losing money. I can't yeah. believe yeah. it. I used to spoon feed myself cold caviar and then drink warm diet or warm Cokes warm from the Cokes, stock room. Man. It's yeah. all right. There's a bite to a warm Coke that you can't find anywhere else on this planet. <laughs> it's, every once in a while, it's really good. A warm Coke yeah. can really That's hit. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's when an acquired I, taste. I, I still maintain when I uh, when I used to smoke, a, when I was a hardcore stoner as a kid, but still, a cold can of Coke went high. Fucking oh, yeah. Simple pleasures, good man. Night. It's the or mana. Mm-hmm. It's mana in your mouth. <laughs> so and not good. man, mana. But if you're into man in your mouth, it's that as well. It's just as good. It's good shit. Ladies and gentlemen, Woo, Mr. Sean Patton. Mm-hmm. As we said, brand new album out. Oh, yeah. King Scorpio. Filming a brand new special. Tipitina's down there in New Orleans. Mm-hmm. February 3rd, doing two shows. If you want to go see him? He's absolutely fantastic. I know you guys know that, but I'm telling you anyway. Go to MeSeanPatton.com. Get yourself some ticks. Do yourself a fucking favor. What else you got coming up? You're out on the road. I mean, I'm just out on the road. Dates are all there on the site. Uh, oh. I'm not, you know, I'm trying not to think too much past the third because I just want to, you know, it's the first official special and I've been doing this quite a while. Mm-hmm. So it's like, it's, it's exciting. Time. It's going to yeah, be a hot time. One, Thank you. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I'm always on the road. I'm always <laughs> just check the site. MeSeanPatton.com. Follow me on Instagram at Mr. Sean Patton. And yeah, fucking, you know, I'm out there. Let's do it. Love it, we baby. Love you, buddy. Love, it. love y'all's man. back. Kip, what do you got for him? Uh, our, our tour dates are on sale now. The oh, link will yeah. be in the description. Check me out at Cameron Comedy on all social media. And, yeah, Watch see you around, spash, gang. Share Thank the you. Spash, spread the word. Gang, we love you. T-Bone, love you, buddy. Peace. We'll see you next week. Peace.